In this video, we're going to be using Ariane and Evan's Little Fictions and the Rockwell 6S Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back to another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and welcome in, folks. Welcome in. Today, we have a good one for you. This is Ariana and Evan's Little Fictions, and it is a collaboration with Grey Matter, and this one smells fantastic. The cost on this one, $19.95 for four ounces, and that is under $5 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a fair price. The scent on this one is fantastic. Off the tub, it's a little under medium, but once you lather it, it picks up and is fantastic. I'm gonna put the scent description for you on the screen right there. It is very nice. Coconut, cedar, bitter orange, lavender, clary sage, amorous, musk, and some other things. It is a beautiful, beautiful scent, and I absolutely love it. This is in the Ariane and Evans K2E base. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Very good soap, easy to lather, no problems whatsoever, and we look forward to having a great shave with the soap today because it does smell fantastic. The razor for today is the Rockwell 6S, and these razors had a price increase right around the first of the year. They're now at Rockwell, the colored ones, $150, but you can still get these at Grown Man Shave for $130, and if you use promo code IMCDB, you can get 10% off your first order. So if you're looking to get one of these for a little less money, go to Grown Man Shave. I'll link it below for you, and I think he still has some of these in stock, so check that out if you please. It really is a good razor, but now it's in that cost range where I might make some other decisions, quite frankly. Uh, probably get a carve or something like that, um, but we'll talk about that more as the shave goes on. It is a very good razor indeed. All right, let's go ahead and wet the face and then we'll get started today. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm gonna probably just do two passes today because yesterday I shaved kind of late and we won't really need three passes, I do not believe. And this wrist is hurting because I had a little spill yesterday. <laughs> so. Uh, hope, hopefully there's no injury there, but we'll press on with the shaves all the same. Oh man, this scent is just phenomenal. Very, very good indeed. Now you, you have that really good quality Ariana and Evan slather, but as I'm, as I often say, just about every soap is good right now. Do I need all these so-called skin food ingredients that's in this soap? Absolutely not. It doesn't do anything whatsoever for me. It may for you but it is a great soap and it's still well priced. Um, that's what I think uh, Pete Charcalis does um, better than most is he includes a lot of luxury ingredients and he keeps that price uh, affordable, at least if you're in the shaving shop club where you get discounts. So he tries to keep it affordable and I really appreciate that because we've seen some artisans tack it as much as $4 on a tub of soap here within the last, you know, six months or so and I'm like uh-uh <laughs> can't do it so Pete has uh, worked to keep the prices pretty good and if you're in the club you get additional savings and man that scent smells absolutely beautiful oh man I'm gonna <laughs> really enjoy this one today all right let's cut that back and rinse it off and we'll get into the shave today again we'll do two passes and man just about anything I do with this hand results in just a little bit of pain. So we'll hope that's just a sprain and nothing major. You know, I can still use it, but any bending or twisting is uh, does not feel great. Oh, that feels really nice and smooth. I am using the Rockwell, uh, I believe it's called the R6. I don't know if you can see that under there or not. It's the R6 plate, which is the most efficient. Uh, and that's where I like it. I pretty much only use the five and six plate. The rest of the plates, I don't really, use ever so in both of my Rockwell razors or actually I have three I use the uh, R R5 R6 plate because that's exactly the way I like the razor it is a good razor but at 150 I would probably make different choices being completely honest with you um, this is a this is a cast razor meaning it's put in a mold and a cast it's not CNC machined and so for 150 what I would probably do is either get a carve with a few plates 
or a couple of plates at least, or I would get like two Razor Rock stainless steel razors that are machined. Um, and that's not to say that cast razors can't be good because this is still a very good razor and I'm glad to own it. But at 150, it gets into the range where I probably just kick in, you know, a little extra money and get something a little better. Um, or, or alternatively, I would get the Rockwell 6C, which used to run, I don't know about now, $49. It's not stainless steel. It's the zinc alloy, but that's still a very good razor. So maybe, you know, go for that one at 50, if it's still at 50. Now, if it's at 80, again, I would probably make some different choices. I'd get one of the Razor Rock stainless steel razors. But at 150, this puts this razor right in close enough to the premium range of, you know, where they start at, you know, 160, 185. I would just put a little extra money with those and just get a full on premium razor. Um, but it is a good shaver, so you can't deny that. I always enjoy using it every single time. But would I pay 150 now for these uh, colored versions? No, I would not personally. Um, there's too many other options that are a little more refined, if I'm being completely honest. But that's just my opinion. If you love, love the Rockwell success, that's okay. I love it too, but we do have to consider price and that jump was a little more than I want to pay, honestly. But fortunately, I already own <laughs> the razor, so I don't have to worry about it. That is an exceptional lather. I didn't talk much about the soap in the first pass, but it is very good. And oh, that wrist. Woo -wee. Any twisting is a is not fun at all. And it was tough making this lather, to be honest with you. I didn't make much lather because it was difficult. I'm not used to using my left hand for things apart from straight razor shaving. And so I need to use my left hand more. And I have been using it more, but uh, it's... Uh, it's not easy going. So if you see an occasional grimace, that is why. All right, that's good enough. We can't uh, spend all day uh, doing that. All right, let's cut that back a little bit. Really should be using my legs. <laughs> Here I am talking about it and I'm not doing it. Doesn't really hurt to Use the razor, it hurts to bend, twist, things like that. All right, let's see if we can finish this one out here. And my dry towel there is laying in the sink, getting wet, which is no good. All right, and that feels nice. This is a good razor. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I think many people love it for good reason. It is definitely a good razor. Nice and efficient on six, but not menacing. I think the Rockwell, from, from my perspective, tops out in efficiency at medium. Um, it is not, even on plate six, it is not at all a scary razor to use. In other words, it's not super blade feely or anything like that. It just hits for me in that medium range. Um, but it's, it's a very decent shaver overall. And I'm getting a really good shave with it today. I always do. It is a really good razor. Very nice indeed. And by the way, I hope you're all having a great day. So far, we had a really nice shave yesterday with the Sword of the Sea by Ian. Thank you again, Harry Wong. And I hope you've been enjoying some of those throwback videos. <laughs> Many people have said, I can't believe that's you. And I'm like, thankfully, uh, it's not me anymore, but it was me. <laughs> and someone said, uh, you know, what's the secret? You look younger. And the, the secret really was uh, change my perspective, number one, about life. Number two, lose some weight. Number three, I shaved the head and grew the ball kit. And, you know, there you go. So that's been a very positive change for me. It changed my perspective, my attitude, the way I conduct myself, you know. And it was... Uh, it was really a good thing for me. And I got a lot of criticism. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but I got criticism from a few friends when I shaved the head. They were like, you shouldn't have done that. And I was like, you know, it's my head. I'm going to roll with it. So if you shave your head, just, just be aware that some people will not be a fan early on, but over time it will become you. And, you know, it'll sort of set in or take, so to speak. 
And for me, it was the right choice because my hair was big time in retreat. Every now and then, if I go two days without shaving, I can see my hairline on these both sides are like all the way back to here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I was going to be looking like Friar Tuck or, I don't know, like, uh, you know, Mr. Burns off of uh, The Simpsons for long. All right. That was a very nice shave indeed. I will rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave, no nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we tiled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had a superb shave today with Ariana and Evan's Little Fictions. The scent on this is fantastic. And if you get it and you think the scent is a little light, lather it and it'll wake up a, a bit. It is a beautiful scent and a beautiful soap. I really enjoyed it a lot. We also enjoyed using the Rockwell 6S razor. Again, at 150, I advise you to look around for a sale. Uh, 150 to me is probably a little on the high end for this, but if you can find it on sale, it is a terrific razor or alternatively consider the Rockwell 6C which is zinc, but it usually runs around 50 bucks. Pretty much same razor minus the stainless steel, so it's still a good razor. We used our Ariane and Evans synthetic brush, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we will close it out today with the Wet the Face, the Quiet Man splash, complete with the floaties, and we'll see if I can pour some in my hand here without twisting my wrist too much. And that feels pretty good, and uh, let's go light on the wrist. All right, thank you all for joining me today, folks. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.